Oh my goodness, you guys. Sorry, let me clean up all my mess here. Two more radiation treatments left. I'm so excited. Um, so this week is week six and, um, my treatment is, um, very like, so it went from like doing radiation on a size this big to being now like super precise. Um, they're just really hammering the crap out of that tumor. Hot crap. <laughs> I make all these jokes and then I realize afterwards that there's a pun in there. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, so everything's like super precise. Um, yeah, so, but we only have three treatments of like the really heavy, hard hitting ones. So that's good. Um, Friday, whole oh, Friday was bad. I was so, so sick. Um, could not keep anything down, like not even water. It was, it was horrible. Um, so sick. I was in a crazy amount of pain. Um, so my insides, like the only way to describe this is like, I'm burning from the inside out. Um, and my doctor said, like, you are, you have like third degree burns on the inside of, um, all the walls in that region. Um, and yeah, it's super painful. So I went in on Friday, they knew I was in really bad shape and they're like, okay, let's, um, just come to terms now that it's time for pain medicine. Like I've done this, like skipping through everything. Like I don't need anything. Hmm, I need something now. So yeah, we're on pain meds. Um, we're on some like numbing meds and then obviously like some harder stuff, um, to really like curb the, the major pain. Um, but I feel, I feel good today. Like I haven't taken a pain pill today and I know she says, you know, stay ahead of it. We don't want this, but yeah, I'm, I'm okay today. Um, I'll probably take a pain pill a little later. They don't make me feel that good. Like I get a little nauseous, so I don't, I don't like that. And I don't like feeling tired. So, um, again, I just like to take that at night if I have to. Um, so yeah, we're on pain meds. We're on like numbing meds. Um, so I'm starting to feel like the pain and tingling that they talk about in your fingertips. Um, yeah, it's weird. It doesn't like hurt crazy bad or anything, but like if my finger touches the other finger, it's like a weird feeling. So, <sighs> I mean, I don't like to talk about this stuff because I feel like I've given you guys like all the positivity, but I do want to be really honest about what this feels like. Um, and those, you know, those are the, the side effects that I'm having. So Friday was really, really bad, but I woke up Saturday and I felt like a million bucks and it was my um, middle daughter's 10th birthday this weekend. So I was able to get up and decorate for her party and do her cake. And it like, that was everything because I felt like, holy moly, I'm not going to be able to do any of this. And I feel so bad because her birthday got screwed last year with COVID. And so I'm like, I have to do this party. And I was able to, and it was amazing. And it was just such a perfect weekend. And I needed that so bad. So, um, just really made me give that boost to get through this week and crush it and then we get to ring the bell on Wednesday and I'm so excited so um we'll film that I'm so excited to film it I got like all my family I got them little bells to ring with me because I do I feel like I'm not the only one finishing this stage of treatment I they are too like they, my mom, my dad, Alona, they've all gotten me to treatment every day, you guys. And, you know, Cody has been holding me at night when I can't function. And, like, they all get to ring that bell with me. That's how I view this. Like, you guys accomplished this with me. And this was one step that we needed to accomplish. And we're doing it. And um, so, yeah. And then I'll get a little break. We're going to the beach and I'm so excited like park me on the beach I normally like get super like anxious to go on vacation because I have guilt like leaving the company like and Cody he doesn't have that <laughs> he doesn't have as much guilt as I do but I like hate when I can't help someone you know when they call um 
but this year I'm like totally being selfish and I'm like just park me on the beach and I feel like we're gonna you know we'll put out a Facebook message and stuff for the business and let know people know that we're gonna be away and then I've got you know some guides that I can throw some emergency stuff to and um, but yeah we're gonna get away and that's gonna be so great and gear up for um, this next step so May 10th I get my port put in so they have easy access to give me all my IV chemo um, and May 19th is my first chemo infusion so I'll have like a fun little pump on me and like I don't even know what to expect with that but day by day so yeah I just um I wanted to tell you what was going on and I'm just really excited I want to get through these next two days and then just relax and celebrate this little victory um I got my hair I know you guys probably saw the other video that was a little traumatic but we got through it and I have a wonderful hairdresser who's she's been my hairdresser like I feel like since I was like 19 and we've grown up together and she was amazing and you know we cried through it but it's part of this and um yeah my hair I mean it's still falling out but at least it's easier to fall out and like doesn't look as thin you know down here when it's bigger up here so um yeah again just part of it I mean I hope I'm not gonna go completely bald fingers crossed so I mean maybe I'd look cute bald we don't know <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there's still bracelets on our porch. If anybody wants bracelets, I know the girls are taking a lot to school and all of that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I love you guys. I just wanted to give you a quick update and tell you I'm doing okay. Last week was a little rough, but there is so much light now that is at the end of the tunnel. I see it all. I am just racing towards it. So um, thank God, you know, for getting me through this stage in this treatment. And he has, he's held my hand every day. I lay on that table and um, I have a routine. I lay down and I say the Lord's prayer as the CT scan goes around. And then I just let him hold my hand um, through the rest of the treatment. And he does. And um, yep. So he's gotten me through this. He's going to get me through the next two days and he's going to get me through the rest of the summer. Um, and he's, he's killing this tumor. So, <laughs> all right. I will talk to you guys soon. I love you. All right. Bye.